Sean said uh, only really three words to me the entire show uh, when I first met him. He said, do you golf? And I said no, and that was kind of the last time he spoke to me. Uh, Kurgan, he is the strongest of all the immortals. He is the perfect warrior. If he wins the prize, mortal man would suffer an eternity of darkness. I had a good time. I uh, didn't have, I wasn't constrained too much by the script, and uh, Russell didn't uh, ever tell me to stop doing anything, so um, I think I was just trying to, trying to get him to direct me. So, but he never bothered. <laughs> When we first went up to uh, Glencoe to shoot the, the Highland scenes, the, the clan scenes, the clan battles, um, you know, I I wasn't treated like most of the cast, and I had to take a train up from uh, London to Glasgow and got into the Glasgow station around midnight, and there was no nobody there to pick me up, so I thought I was going to spend the night in the Glasgow train station until I. Glasgow Copper came along and told me to move along. So I found a I found a some place that was open and hung out there for the night and then they finally came and collected me. It hurts. What's it like being back here for the 30th anniversary screening? It's a little weird. Uh, I've stayed away from the Highlander universe for a long time, so um, it's a little strange that uh, it's been 30 years and it won't go away, and that it's getting this kind of treatment. You know, it's a, it's a, it's astounding, and that I'm the only guy here. Where the hell is uh, where the hell is Sean? Where the hell is Roxanne? Where the hell is Chris and Russell? Where are these guys? Maybe they don't like me. Maybe that's why I'm, they're not. They knew I was going to be here. So. Scared of the Kurgan? I guess, right? Ah, jeez. A bunch of babies.